Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, super stylized black and white video. Now there has to be about a hundred different ways to take color video and convert it to black and white, but it doesn't always go the way you want. Sometimes you want to have more control and sometimes you want to just introduce a little bit of black and white or depending on where you are, a lot of color, less color. But anyway, Premiere Pro's got a lot of tools to allow you to do that. The secret here is that you can affect the color that affects the black and white because just here's some simple color. If you have the exact same tone of blue and red and you convert them to black and white, the red is going to be almost totally black. The blue is going to be gray. And sometimes you have to fight with that. If, if you're dressing the set and, and costumes before knowing you're going to black and white, then that's, that's great. You've got that in the bag. But if it's after the fact, you might have some issues. Let's go have a look. All right, let's start with uh, this clip right here. And what I have on this clip is two things. First of all, I have the Lumetri color uh, effect and I've got the setting for black and white. And what I'm doing with the Lumetri effect is I'm changing the value in her shirt. So let me put all of this together for you. Let me delete that and delete that. So we're starting with just this clip in the effects and I'm going to type black and white and it's in the image control double click. And when I add the black and white effect, I don't get any controls. I just get black and white. So for me, the most control that I like to have is the Lumetri color panel. So I'll come up to my workspace and choose color. It's going to bring me into my color panel. And the thing you'll notice is if I start changing in here, and th this still looks pretty darn cool, but that's not what I want. The reason you can see color is the effect order. You can see black and white is above the Lumetri color panel. So if I drag black and white below it, now whatever I'm doing here is going to change the color before it converts to black and white. So something as simple as a temperature change can change the colors inside that, that, that final black and white. And then overall, I can still add contrast to this, punch up the exposure, and then I, you know, I've gone from that to that just with my Lumetri color effect. Very cool. Now let's look at something a little bit different. In this example, I'm doing the exact same thing. I've added the Lumetri color to change this, but you notice that we do have a faded amount of color in here. So how do I do that? Well, if I twirl down the, the effects, there is a mask that I have and the mask is on the very outside. So if I bring down this, you'll see there's my original without the black and white effect and the Lumetri uh, effect is, is actually being shown. Uh, but if you just create a mask, and again, I'll, I'll just reset that so you can see this. So let me delete and I'll drop black and white on here, this time after it. and. You don't get any controls for opacity for the black and white effect until you add a mask. So I can either click on here and draw a mask or, or create a four point polygon uh, just for, well, let's just do this quickly. So I'll grab my four points and drag them up out of view and finish off with the first one there. I'm also going to take the feathering off, but you'll notice down in here we get we get a mask opacity. So that is the black and white effect that I'm changing with the opacity. Pretty cool, okay? So I can take that effect up and just almost give a hand tinted look. And then this one here, I'm using the exact same effect where I've got the black and white and I've got the Lumetri color. So the bottom line is when you're playing around with this Lumetri color, you can really start to affect the overall black and white value um, of that clip. Now, another way to do this instead of using masks is to actually use, let me go back to my uh, editing workspace. And if I was going to do this to a lot of clips, I probably wouldn't be adding a mask on each one. So let me just uh, quickly get 
in and delete the masks. I'll still leave the Lumetri color effect, but instead of doing it on a mask on each one of those, I'm going to add an adjustment layer. Drag that all the way out, click on it, go to my effects, take the black and white effect and put it on the adjustment layer. And you can see right away, everything is black and white, but the Lumetri effects are still affecting the overall color. And with the adjustment layer selected in the opacity settings, I could easily take all of that effect down. So now I'm down to 54% of color reduction uh, on that layer. So a couple of cool uh, ways to not just convert to black and white, that's easy, but fix things that maybe you don't want uh, selected uh, with adding the Lumetri color effect, which could also have its own mask and the black and white effect has its own opacity. So with all of this, you can create this very stylized looking black and white that has this cool effect where it's not really black and white, it's not really color, it's somewhere in between, it's moody, it's badass, and uh, you get what you want. All right, hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe button to Video Revealed. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, there's a special link in the description for you to get your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.